Hi everyone, it's Wendy. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to do something a little bit different. I want to make a tuck spot. I've got some of these old um, Edith Holden pages uh, and I'm, oh, okay. I'm thinking that I want to do some sort of a, a, a tuck spot, like cut out an image and then create a tuck spot for um, like on an anchor page or something like that. Uh, and I just thought it would be kind of neato to see to see how that might come together. Now these are pretty stiff pages. I love the bird. I love that little bird. Oh my goodness, so cute. Um, and I haven't fussy cut anything out yet, so you know. And I love the idea of using just like a piece of, um, like a piece of this, sort of an image. Uh, you know what, I'm going to cut it and see how it goes. I just have a picked, I picked a few out that I thought might be, might work. But I'm just going to do this. Cut that out of that one. Let's kind of do one at a time and see how what we think. I'm just going to move these to the side. So for doing this I'd be just like an old book page of some sort that you have. Um, I am going to reinforce this even though this is pretty good thick paper. Um, I think it would be good to have. I have this piece here rather than using a new piece. Let's use a piece that we used last time. And I'm going to glue it onto this cardstock. Uh, and my thought is, it's a shame that I lost that. Beautiful, um, those beautiful berries. I'll set this aside. Because, you know, that could happen too. So I'm just going to glue this down. And I'm just trying to put a lot of glue across the back here. To make sure I have most, most bits glued. set it here and then we we'll fussy cut it after it's already attached that way we don't have to cut it twice that's that's my that's my thought anyway and this will make it really nice and firm give it some good heft so I'm here and apologies for not having this cut ahead of time but like I said all I knew is that I wanted to do something with a a vintage image and the Edith Holden pages just looked perfect. I'm going to just do like a, a fussy cut that's not, that's close. There's a name for that. Um, I can't think of what it is at the moment, but I know there's a name for it. I've heard somebody say it, but anyway. Uh, so yeah, we'll just cut it. I don't want it to be like perfect but I do want it to get the, uh, for us to get a rough idea. Do this and I'll come back and do that a little bit. So, this may not work. And you know what? It's okay. We're trying. So it's all good. Thank you for continuing to send me shops or, um, or YouTubers. Uh, really like the idea of finding new YouTubers, uh, both for me, selfishly, to learn from and to enjoy, uh, but also to share with you on my uh, monthly Makers Monday videos. So I'll take these and move those out of the way. And yes, I know some of you be like, why are you using big scissors? It's just what I do. Um, I find, for me, and it's uh, these scissors are by Fiskars, and they're fantastic. They are um, uh, recommended for folks who have a bit of arthritis or mobility issues in their wrists. I do have um, osteoarthritis in my wrists. So they it makes it a much easier for me to be able to, to, to cut and not create a lot of um, 
undue discomfort in the wrist. And I think the reason is that there's this extra little spring in here, which really helps for sure. Okay, so we'll keep our cutting. Apologies if this is super boring. I'm doing, I think I'm going to try and do a couple of videos today because um, the, uh, the work on my new wall. <laughs> You'd think he was building the Great Wall of China here, wouldn't you? But the work on the new wall begins tomorrow. So uh, that will make it difficult for me to film down here. I can film upstairs if I need to. But um, I like the idea of getting a couple of videos ahead just so that I have that extra, in case it takes longer than anticipated, I have that extra cushion. So I'm liking this. Um, I wonder if we need to go any in these little bits. We'll see. Okay, so itchy nose, I'm not sure. What does that mean? I'm going to kiss a fool or something? Okay, so my thought is that we would take something like this and make like a tuck spot, almost like a belly band tuck spot. And, and the fact that it's botanical, oh, that's better on this side, isn't it? The fact that it's botanical means, like I'm not covering, by cutting it out, I'm not covering too much of this gorgeous image. Um, but it fits into the theme really well. And then if I just attach it in a couple spots, then it becomes a tuck spot. So that's that's my plan with that. But I also think that I want to put fabric behind it as well. And this is just some of that canvas that I use when I'm making journals. And it's actually the same canvas that's in here. And it's a seven ounce weight and I bought it on Amazon. So it means I'm going to have to cut this again, but that's okay. We can do it. I hope you don't mind having to watch this again. So I'm just going to glue this on here. So what I was doing with the Edith Holden, Holden um, book, or my book pages, is I was looking for images that would have enough airiness and space without overtaking the page. And I just like the idea of putting it on fabric. It doesn't need any other sturdiness, but I'm going to put it on fabric and then I have to cut it out. I'd like to try and get a few frayed edges, so we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to set it down like so on here. And then, where's my needle? Set that in inside my glue. Just gonna let that dry a little bit. In the meantime, there's no reason why we couldn't try and do another one. Um, do we want to do the birds or? Gosh, that's super pretty too, isn't it? What if, ooh, am I gonna lose? I'm gonna lose that one, but I'm gonna do the one with the apples, I think. I think they're like the little crab apples. Okay, this is just while we were waiting for that to dry completely. And we'll set it up here. So yeah, I don't know that there's anything much new going on. Um, the supplies have been purchased for the for doing the room, uh, the wall. They're going to be um, they're going to be uh, arriving tomorrow, and that's when the the work the work begins. Um, and then I'll, like I said, if I have a couple of videos ahead of time, then I'm golden. Otherwise, I can just go up and take some supplies up for the kitchen table. 
it's going to create, you know how things happen when, you, when you're doing work like that. Things get messier, messier <laughs> than they currently are before they get better. So, um, yeah, I'll go like this. Yeah, they get messier before they get better. And that's just because there's so much to um, dust that's made in the process. I mean, he's going to be uh, attaching to a pillar in a couple of spots, which means he has to take some bits out of the plaster um, to accommodate taking on a new piece of gyp rock to be patched in. This is as much as, you know, I'm, I'm no expert in this area, that's for sure. So, yeah. Getting my little apples here. And cutting it out. I hope you like this idea. I'm, I know I'm not the first one to do this sort of thing. I have seen others do it. I don't know that I've seen, um, I don't think I've seen anyone make it. I've just seen the effect in journals before, and, and this is me imagining how they must have done it. But I'm not 100% sure, of course, that that is in fact the case. I'm going to cut that as an angle to so make it look like it's more of a natural cut there. And then we'll go up here. And just cut. This one's a little easier to cut out. I think they were a little less finicky on the fussy cutting. And go in here. So. I have to tell you, I'm having one of those days where my mother in law used to say she could what was it, eat, chase a horse and eat their rider or something like that, like I'm, instead of eat a horse, I, I'm that hungry. I don't know why. Um, I have no reason. I mean, I did my workout, but that was this morning. So I'm sure a lot of you would be better at fussy cutting than I am. There you go. Okay, so there's this bit. We can set glue that in, in here. And some fabric as well. Oh my goodness. They're just not happy. She must have heard somebody arrive or actually it's more likely. She goes into the the snug, which is our like den, and she'll sit up on the love seat in there, where she can see out the front window, and she barks at any dog that's going by. Uh, she's doing her job. She's you know she's a watchdog, that's for sure. She comes by that naturally, being a, a sheltie. But anyway, that's probably what she's doing up there. Pardon me. I'm going to set this here. Looks really nice on that cream color, doesn't it? Really happy about that. Okay, so while that is drying, I'm going to cut the other one off the fabric. And I hope this is, pardon me, going to give me the result I'm, I'm looking for. <laughs> going to go like this and then that. Make sure that's down nicely. Okay. There we go. Yeah, that came together really well. So now I'm going to cut it and I'm, I'm also going to cut it another like eighth of an inch from, from the image. That's what I'm going to try and stick to in and around there. 
This will make it even sturdier, um, which of course is part of the, the goal. But I just thought it would look kind of cool if we can get a bit of fraying on it as well. So, and you could, you could run a stitch down this too if you want it with your sewing machine. Oh, I went a little close there. That's okay. I'm not striving for perfection, just something kind of fun. And I just want to throw in another texture um, and bring you along with me. give it some more cutting. Apologies for being so quiet. It was one of those days it was get the groceries kind of morning and um, so we got our groceries and what else did we do today? I'm doing my videos. I'm going to go in here and cut this one out a little bit. Um, uh, Hubs went to the hardware store. Yeah. I, he went and picked up an order I made at Michael's as well. It's great because you can make an order and then just arrange to go pick it up, which is terrific. Okay. So, some of this I'll keep. I'm just going to move it out of the way um, for now. this one here. So I like the idea that you might get a bit of a fray in a few spots. Oh, that one turned out really nicely, didn't it? Which means we're going to have a few threads in different spots, but I don't know, I just think it's kind of fun. Just gives it, I don't know, gives it a little more purpose. That's my thought. I know that probably sounds goofy, but all right. So my thought is that it would go like so, and we would attach it in a couple of spots. Bring you in a little bit. There we go. And if I were to glue it in a couple of spots, keeping in mind that I am going to end up sewing down here later. Um, so I'm going to put the glue just in a couple of spots and it appears to me that this is a good spot here and then in here and then up there I think. So I'm going to have that come over the page a tiny tiny bit and that is so that um, when I sew it I'm actually sewing on, I know I'm sewing on to something. Put some more glue there. And then now I can see that I'm safe to put glue back here because I want that to be solidly down. That's not going to be a point where something is stuck underneath. And I can go up here, put some in there as well. But I'm not putting glue anywhere in this center body where I would want to um, have our item tucked in. So that actually is fine coming off the edge a little bit, I think. So I don't know, what do you think of the look of that? I love that you can still see Tracy's I'm just looking ooh, at these tags we made the other day. Um, I like that you can still see Tracy's beautiful image behind it. And so you would just stick something in like that, uh, is my thought. I mean, that, that's probably not what I'm going to set there, but you never know. Um, so it's stuck here and here, and down here and down here. And I think that works out really, really well. I do. Yeah. Okay. 
So let's let's see about doing this other one and see. Um, it's glued down now. Just making sure you can still see me. And like I said, this would be a great way to use any kind of book image. You could use a digital image this way too. It doesn't have to be from a book. Um, there's lots of gorgeous botanical images out there. But I just think it's kind of fun. Move that out of the way. Oops. And I'll probably run and grab the other journal we cover that we put together. And uh, see if this can fit nicely in there as well. I love those crab apples or dwarf apples, whatever they are. Thank you. Someone mentioned that they thought my um, drawing of, on the tags the other day was reminiscent of the crab tree that they used to climb as a child. And it really got me thinking too because I was a tree climber too. Uh, so that was a really sweet comment and it was a comment that took me back as well. So this canvas is lovely for this. And I mean, that's not to say that you couldn't use another fabric. You absolutely could. Uh, it's just quite nice, I think. Let's go down here a tiny bit. That's lovely too. Okay, let me get this out of the way so we have space. And I'm just going to get up for a second. My apologies if I cast a shadow across the screen, but I'm going to grab the other journal. I didn't think I'd have time to do two, so that worked out well. So within a half hour, we were able to put two of these together. So that's pretty cool. Okay, this is the other one. Uh, and it's handled just the same way. I'm going to close that upside down to have the weight of it on that bit that we've just put in now. Let's see, is this going to... So this could come across this way, which I feel is a more natural way of doing it than like that. Now, I'm not sure. Do I like it on this page? I think I do. I think I might angle it a little bit more. And what do you think? Do you think that looks good? The other, what other options do we have? We could put it back here on this page, which is quite nice. Here, I don't know if I want to cover that image yet, or here at the back. I think I like it here at the back, and I think that's where I'm going to put it. I think I'm going to put some glue here, and here, and then a little bit there and there. Okay. Let's do this. So it doesn't always, even though I'm doing these as, you know, kind of like pairs to go together, um, doesn't mean that they have to, the element has to go in exactly the same spot on both. So I'm going to set that there. I want to move that up a little bit because I don't want this to go right into that spot in there. So, so we've got it just in here, glued down in here, glued there, and glued here at the top. I think that looks really cute. Okay, and this is just by way of showing you what it would look like with a tag. Like that. Isn't that cute? Really lovely, and it is a, you know, a botanical element. Um, yeah, that, I want that to dry there. So, and then there's this one. So I think that's it for today. We've got two of these done, which I'm happy with. 
and I'm just going to make sure, come back and make sure that they're glued uh, really well to hold something in the little tuck spot that we've made. Super easy to do and fun and it has a nice effect. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye.